She's safe. Anything else? Diana Jokai works hard for her money. She owns and operates a successful restaurant called the Royal Grill. But lately, she says, she's lost customers. And it's not because of the service. Thank you. Have a good day. And by all accounts, the food is good. Jokai says customers are abandoning her because of those tow trucks from Larson's Towing that are constantly hooking cars. Larson sends spotters out looking for anyone they don't think is a customer at the mall and tows them away. They charge the car owners 400 bucks, cash only, to get them back. Far above the average rate, according to the BBB. Worse yet, there's strong evidence they're towing legitimate customers, even shopping center employees. Jokai's waitress says she got the hook three times. And Jokai? My car got towed at least six times. And any time I called to check why they got my car, they kept saying they saw me going to the hospital, which never happened. You see, the Royal Grill is right next to the Detroit Medical Center, and lots of Jokai's customers work or do business there. People like Mark Hakey, a PhD who does cutting edge research on three dimensional MRI technology. The Royal Grill used to be his favorite haunt until he and his secretary went there for lunch one day and came out 30 minutes later to find his car had been towed. And to me, it seems like somebody basically stole my car. On top of that, Hakey says, his all-wheel drive Infinity was improperly towed and it did $4,000 worth of damage. So I had to um, get my car repaired. It took three weeks to get all the parts in for this. Hakey says he has plenty of witnesses to put him at the restaurant, even a time-stamped receipt. Jokai says she knows of at least two others who were towed while eating at a restaurant. One of them got a problem. They'll tell all the friends around and then it really affects us in a bad way. Especially when it gets national TV exposure. One of Jokai's customers sued the owner of Larson's Towing and wound up in front of America's most famous judge. Was she in the wrong place at the wrong time? You towed her car. Yes, we did. Or in the right place for a scam. Judge Judy came down hard on owner Tom Larson. She awarded the customer $1,500, even more than she asked for. And you had no right to tow her car at all. Uh -huh. That's what happens when you pay by bounty for towing. Even before the case hit Judge Judy, Hakey had reluctantly abandoned his favorite restaurant. We've all boycotted it. We don't go there. And now I feel quite bad for Diana because I like that group and we've, we've enjoyed eating there, as I said, for almost 10 years. When the 7 Action News investigators went to confront Tom Larson about these complaints, we discovered he had bailed out of his location in Redford Township and disappeared. We did a little detective work and caught up with him on the street as he was dropping a car. You know, the lady down there at the restaurant says that you're hurting her business because you towed so many of her customers? No. We're not hurting anything. Larson has a contract with the shopping center owners, and he says everyone he tows is parked illegally. Well, we've got guys that have proof that they were in there eating and you towed their car. Sure. That's what they all say. They all went to the restaurants and uh, everything else, but 99% of them went to the restaurant after the fact. And Larson's got hammered by Judge Judy, who said she was really impressed with the evidence presented against him. Judge Judy is nothing but drama TV. That's what it's for. Mm -hmm. Okay? It was preset. Mm -hmm. They knew what they were doing before we ever got there. There should really be a law against this. Uh, the police wouldn't do anything, despite the fact that I contacted several parts of the police department. Uh, and they told me I would have to deal with this through civil claims court. So why did Larson leave his location in Redford Township? We found out he moved in a hurry just before court bailiffs showed up to evict him. He left this place a mess, man. He did? And he left owing a pile of money in back rent. According to this court record, Larson owed nearly $12,000.